Okay. Since you brought up the West Coast uh, stuff a little bit, I kind of wanted to get into that. What was your opinion on the whole, you know, Biggie and Tupac back and forth back in the day in the 90s? I mean, were you... Did you have an opinion on that? Were you locked up at that time? I was, I was, I was, uh, I had, I had, I had, yeah, I was out, I was out, I was out, I was on the street when Tupac got killed. Okay. Yeah. Like when the East and West Coast, you know, Bad Boy versus Death Row, all that stuff. I was, I was, I had a thing about it. Yeah, I couldn't, um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, man, homie, look, let me show you. I'm West Coast to the wheels fall off. To the wheels fall off. You know what I'm saying? No other, no other place. No, I'm just, just me. And um, when that was real, when the when the Biggie and Tupac thing was going on, I was like, yeah, you know, bump them fools, you know, you know, bump, them. you know, yeah, come out right if you want to, knock your head off, you know, because it was it was like that in L.A. East Coast rappers couldn't even get their tapes sold; they weren't even up front. Like if you go into a record store and you ask for like uh, East Coast rappers tape, you know, the people would look at you like, man, for what? <laughs> then if you really wanted it, they'd have to go in the back and get it. We, there wasn't nobody selling their tapes. When nobody listened to their music, it wasn't none of that. You feel what I'm saying? It just, and they felt the same way out there, you know? Yeah. So, you know, that, it just, it was that thing. I, yeah. Everybody was into it. Right. Okay. East versus West. And real quick question too, for all my Denver folks. Um, what do you consider Denver or Colorado? Is it Denver's Midwest? West. It's West Coast? Yeah, okay. It's the West Coast. Yeah. I hear that like people, some people say we're in the Midwest. Some people say we're the West coast. So I'm like, I want to hear your opinion. No, the Midwest is yeah. Detroit, Chicago, stuff like that. Right. Okay. No, Denver is on the West coast. Okay. You know, um, the, 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 to us, the West coast consists of California, Denver, Utah, uh, Seattle, Oregon. Oh, that's the West coast. Yeah. Oh, that's the West coast. Okay. That's real. What's like, the difference between neighborhoods and rollings, if if I'm pronouncing that right. Well, no, the the, the difference is between the the gangsters okay. and the in hoods, the neighborhoods. Okay, yeah, yeah. Rollings and and the neighborhoods are pretty much the same, same thing. thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the split is you have the gangster car and you have the in hood car, the mm-hmm. neighborhood car. That's the difference. Um, don't get along. Um, it's just I don't. It's just I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to be uh, how much specific I can be with it. Uh, Where'd like the names come from? Like the gangster Chris versus, you know, Well, you know, all the sets that got gangster crip in their name, they gonna come up under the gangster car. Um, All the sets that got neighborhood crip, they gonna come up under the neighborhood car and, and all the neighborhood cars get along. I mean, every, all the different sets in the neighborhood car, they get along. The gangster car is dysfunctional. Mm. It's super dysfunctional. Um, For instance, like Avalon's, we in the gangster car, but we don't get along with a big chunk of the sets that are in the neighborhood. I mean, that are in the gangster car. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We don't get along with eight, seven gangsters. We don't get along with nine, seven gangsters. We don't get along with four trades. We don't get along with four deuces. We don't get along with four eights. All five of them sets are in the gangster car, but Avalon don't rock with them, period. You know what I'm saying? Most of the gangsters say moving. We don't say that. Avalon say swinging. We the swing gang because of our beef with most of the sets within the gangster car. Okay. Where did like those, I guess, subsets originate from? Like how, like who came up with, okay, we're the neighborhood Crips and who, who was uh, like, oh, know, we're whoever, the gangster Whoever decided, you know, the name at that time, you know, the name okay. came about back in the, back in the seventies, you know? So basically pretty similar to how like any gang. Yeah. Cause see, at once there, there was no strife. It right. wasn't no problem with gangsters and neighborhoods. Um, 1979, the A-Trey Gangsters in the 60s went to war. And that pretty much was the beginning of the end of what's really what Crip was about. Mm, 1979, okay. 1979, the whole foundation and fabric of Crip was pretty much destroyed. Right. When that war started, it put a split down the middle that to this day doesn't do anything but get wider and wider and wider. That's where the rift between the neighborhoods come and the gangsters. That's where that, that, that tear comes. Okay. Could you ever see it? I know you say it's getting wider, but could you ever see a piece or reconciliation between cards or do you just only see that on a set by set basis? I think. Um, as an overall whole, you, you can't, you can't, you know, you can't make a call on that one because, you know, each set has its own politics. Mm. You know, what the six, okay, what the rolling sixties, you know, neighborhoods do. Don't necessarily mean that's what the rolling 40 neighborhood is going to do. What the rolling 40 neighborhood is going to do doesn't necessarily mean that's what the 9-0 neighborhood is going to do. Yeah. Or the rolling hundreds, you know what I'm saying? 
it, you know, they all come up under the in hood umbrella, but they gonna all they all have their different politics. Mm -hmm.